Greetings and welcome to Fit Mama Fitness. This is another food prep video and I am not in workout clothes. I am wearing linen pants and I just want you to look at me for a minute. I ain't even dressed up. But again, I am not in workout clothes. Did not do makeup, but I am not in workout clothes. <laughs> Today we're going to make fish tacos and we're going to make chicken thighs. Um, this is super, super easy. So I'm going to turn my skillet on to medium high heat. And I'm going to spray some nonstick cooking spray. <coughs> While this is heating up, if you could meander over this way, I'll show you what we're going to work on here. All right, I put just a little bit of hot water in my crock pot, and I'm getting it hot so it can get warm here. I'm going to drop, that's my arm, my bad, my bad. I'm going to drop a couple red peppers in there and a couple green peppers. I have cut up one red pepper and one, I almost said green. You did say green. Did I say green? Mm -hmm. One red and one yellow pepper. I mean, it's okay, so I have color issues, but you can see what we're doing. That's why we do the videos. Do what I do, not as I say. Did your parents ever say that crap to you? Anyway, so here we roll. Okay, so this is going to heat up. Here's how I measure. This is Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to say that it is... An eighth of a cup. <laughs> this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing ever. This is Dale's steak seasoning. It's a low sodium. There is a high sodium one, or not a high sodium, but a regular. And um, I love this stuff. So we're gonna probably do about the same. I'd say it's an eighth of a cup, um, maybe a little bit less. I'm not doing a large amount of chicken today. I usually do, oh gosh, like 12 to 16 thighs at a time. But we actually opened a couple chicken packages this morning and I wasn't really keen on the smell. So we're going to add on a set of cushion and we're only going to use a few. But since I already had this prep ready to go, we're going we to roll with it. These are capers. We're going to put exactly 17 capers in the crock pot. I'm just teasing. But a few. And these have, get some of the juice in there. They have a wonderful flavor. And then what else? We're going to do a little bit. I'd say... That is three to four tablespoons, maybe if even, olive oil. This is my garlic, and I did not grab a spoon. Oh, see, I could do this. Look at this. So if that's a half teaspoon, can you tell a tablespoon? Can you tell I don't measure? Then that is um, a quarter, quarter tablespoon of garlic, and onions. Boom, good to go. All right, so that is literally the extent of it for the chicken thighs. I put them in here and I do swish them around a little bit so that they get coated. Could you come and show? I mean, I'm good to look at, but that's not really what this video is about. Excuse me. <laughs> so there is the extent of our delicious chicken thighs. It's a wonderful, this marinade, I use this for roasts, I use this for chicken thighs, I use it for chicken breasts. Um, but yeah, I do cook chicken thighs and I do cook roast because um, I am not a believer in only chicken breast and shrimp and lean steak. Um, you're going to get your fats. You need fat. Fat is fuel, baby, and it keeps your brain happy. So this is a wonderful, very easy marinade that we can use for a whole lot of things. And while we start talking, we are going to throw these fish fillets in here to cook. This is swai. These are swai fillets, and these are available um, at a good deal of grocery stores anymore. Um, you can always find them in an Asian market, but actually Walmart carries them now. It's a really thick, hearty white fish. It's very easy. It's not a very pungent taste, which I like because I don't, um, I don't like really fishy tasting fish. And um, I got too much tilapia one one competition season, so way too much, and I can't do tilapia. So this has provided a very nice. Um, affordable and easy option as an alternative. Um, so we're going to let these cook. Actually, actually, I lie. Let me rinse this hand real quick. And here's what we're going to do. This is dried cilantro. If I had fresh, I would use fresh, um, but I don't. And generally, most of my meals are what I have on hand, and that's the way it rolls. Um, because that's life. Sea salt. Onion powder. Woo! Good thing I looked at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? I thought it had a lid. 
and garlic powder. I will also throw in some of my chopped onions and then I'm going to keep that on medium high and I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit and we'll come right back. Okay, I have cooked this fish. See, you you didn't go anywhere, but I did. I went somewhere. <laughs> I've cooked this fish about, I'd say, three quarters of the way through for a good five, six minutes. And then the reason I'm draining it off in the strainer is I don't want all that moisture in my mixture. So I have diced up the fish, as you see. So return it to the heat. And then from here, and it's still at medium high, I'm gonna add my peppers. See how difficult that was? See how well I measure? I have cut up two chicken sausages. These are, um, what was it? Sweet Italian chicken sausage with red pepper because I had them. But even if I don't, sometimes I will use breakfast sausage in my fish tacos because believe it or not, the mix of the meats provides a really good flavor. So the rest of the bit of onions I have on here, the sausage, the peppers and then I'm going to take a packet of Goya seasoning it's cilantro and tomato it's also going to give it a really pretty color and we're going to put it all over just like so my, my Latino friends know what that is okay stir it up Throw it a little bit everywhere. Okay, now we'll let that cook for a little bit and let it all simmer in together. I'm going to put a a bit of. I know I really need to measure. Okay, look, I'll do. I'll do. All right, all right, all right. Look, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> put that much olive, lemon juice. And actually, I lied. I'm going to do twice that, okay? If I had a fresh lime, I would use a fresh lime, but I don't have one here today. So I'm using this, and then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. <clears throat> That's why I put everything on the counter to begin with, so you can see what I'm working with. And then I have guacamole mix. We don't have a spoon. Uno momento. This is optional. Here's my half tablespoon which makes that oh look at that look at that one whole tablespoon shazam that's what I need to do from now on of um, any kind of guacamole mix uh, that's not really imperative what I generally use is um, a green salsa I prefer a red salsa a spicier salsa sorry the taste Wait. buds in the house because we have sensitive taste buds in the house and I apologize for this choppy video it's all over the place but I think you're getting the gist and so I'm just going to put a little bit of salsa in here. A um, little bit of salsa to give it a nice flavor. This is a jalapeno and cilantro salsa. Salsa! 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 And then... <laughs> you hear the peanut gallery in the back? Salsa! Salsa! Um, and this is the way it works. My son is there. My daughter is running this video. My other daughter is in the next room. Um, it's a Sunday and so I'm going to prep some food and hopefully it'll take us to Wednesday or Thursday. Um, went to church this morning and I got a buttload of work to do. So this is the way it rolls. So we've got chicken thighs. Like I said, generally I would do like 12 to 16 chicken thighs as much as you want so that they last. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs by the way. You don't have to get them that way but it's very easy. Chicken with the bone will have more flavor, but um, any chicken with more fat is going to have more flavor than breast as well, too. So these are really, really good. Everybody likes them. Um, you can eat them by themselves. You can eat them with vegetables, or you can eat them over the, a, a carbohydrate. In here, in my rice cooker, is basmati rice and lentils. It might fog up. Hold on a second. Whew. I mix the basmati rice and lentils with one packet of bouillon and that is a, uh, a really hearty carb. I like the combination of the, the rice mix with the lentils. And then I'll make this, and um, these we can eat for a couple days. You can eat this in a taco shell. You could eat it in like a low carb wheat wrap if you want. Um, we'll probably eat it with some more vegetables and then a little bit of the rice and the lentils um, either on the side or over it. Um, once this is all mixed up, 
can of corn. Look at all that delicious beauty. Shh. He's supposed to be quiet. All right. And then once these are all finished and we serve them up, I will put a little bit of dried edamame on the top and a little bit of a sharp cheddar cheese. And these will go over. The other thing that sometimes I do is I dice up little slices of seaweed. These are little packets of seaweed that are sold at Costco. These are wonderful. They're wonderful little snacks. They're really, really good. And um, they're all sort of, they, they add a really nice flavor to things. So for garnish, we will use the seaweed, we will use the dried edamame, and we will use um, cheddar cheese. And I will include a picture, and these will be done shortly, and I'll do a picture of those too. Thank you for tuning in to Fish Tacos, Chicken Thighs, Fit Mama Fitness Food Prep for a Family.